jingle jangle as lay margins dance. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um I know that I I cannot talk today. I know that you know I'm just gonna try and keep this as casual as possible. I know that I usually come on here and do vlogs, but I thought it would be a good idea. Not let me not lie. Not I thought. Someone came to me and said they would think that a questions tag or like a get to know me would be a good idea. So I thought why not do that? And I was trying my best not to keep it basic and like do the oh your name. Um so I'm gonna do like a kind of get to know me with a twist. Hopefully you guys enjoy this, so let's just get right into it. So if you see me just looking down, it's because I have like a tablet and I'm looking at the questions. So question one, would you rather trade some intelligence for looks or looks for intelligence? First of all, looks for intelligence, because if you're smart, like, like you're really good, like you're set, like, come on. And looks are everything, to be very honest. If question two, if everything in your house had to be one color, what color would you choose? Black. Initially, I thought white, but white gets dirty really fast, so we're gonna go with black. And bl black is just, it's just crispy. It just has that thing about it, you know. Okay. Question three, what animal would be most terrifying if it could speak? No, you know what? I think rats. If rats could talk. Scary, terrifying. Imagine if a rat could run up on you and be like, hey, hey, I know you can hear me. Hey, hey, let me get some cheese. What? Okay, I know rats don't actually eat cheese, but you know what I mean. Okay, so question four. Would you rather have unlimited sushi for life or unlimited tacos for life? Duh, unlimited tacos. What do you mean? Because you can have different types of tacos. You didn't, they didn't specify fish tacos, chicken tacos, the regular beef tacos. So just tacos. I would ride with tacos. If you had a warning label, what would yours say? Um, oh, warning, enjoys things detrimental to its health. Question six, would you rather go 30 days without your phone or your entire life without dessert? Bye dessert girl, bye. It's been, actually wait, wait, I didn't think about this. <laughs> Let me backtrack. So would you rather go 30 days without your phone or your entire life without dessert? Now, but you know what? Chocolate cake is actually delicious. So, um, okay, 30 days. I could do a month. I could do a month without my phone. I think I could. I think I could do it. I could. Number seven. Would you rather be the best player on a horrible team or the worst player on a great team? The worst player on a great team, because as long as the team is winning, the team is winning. I may be the worst, but. If we're great, I can't be that bad, you know? And then question eight. If one animal was made the size of an elephant, which would be the scariest? Again, if rats were the size of elephants, life would be very different. Things would be slightly more terrifying. Um, can you imagine? Big fat rat, you. Uh, okay. Number nine. Who or where would you want if you were a ghost? Ooh. Who or where? Ooh, in terms of where, I can't say my who because they could be watching, sis. But if where would I haunt? I would probably haunt a Starbucks because I really like I really ride for their very very high discus refresher. I would probably haunt a Starbucks. Not gonna lie. Number 10, if you're reincarnated as a famous landmark, which would it be? Hmm, a famous... You know what, I'm gonna say Victoria Falls, only because it's like, first of all, I belong to Zim. Second of all, um, it's something that not only can you look at it and it's nice to look at, but you can actually do stuff. So you can go to the, I think it's called the devil's pool. You can go whitewater rafting. You know, something that you can be, you can have fun with. You feel, you feel me? <laughs> Number 11, which celebrity chef would you like, would you most like to make you dinner? I really don't keep up with the chef thing, but no, I'm not really, oh, 
What is that lady's name? My mom and I used to watch her all the time. Oh, let me Google her. Cause what is that woman's name? Um, um, chef and you. What is that woman's name? Okay, wait, female. I think she was British. Nigella. Oh, there we go. <laughs> if I wanted to have a chef cook me a meal, I feel like I would definitely go with Nigella because she looks like she enjoys what she's doing. Um, okay, let me see. Question 12, if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? One food, potatoes. Potatoes, I mean boiled potatoes, french fries, mashed potatoes, roasted potatoes. I know there are other things that you can do with potatoes, I just don't know the actual words for them. But potato, potato is really that, that veggie, or that carb, I don't know what a veggie would. Anyways, oh, potato salad, girl. Okay, how much would someone have to pay you to eat a live spider? I would say $200. And $200, that's obviously, it ha obviously it has to be a non-poisonous spider, but I would eat a daddy long legs for $200. That seems like a good amount of money. Number 14, what would be the worst movie sequel ever made? Um... Worst movie sequel. I'm trying to think. I don't know if y'all ever watched the Sharknado series. Those were bad. Or if they try actually, if they tried to make, you know the new Jumanji that just came out? If they tried to make another, like a Jumanji pod two based off of the new Jumanji, that would suck. Like, cause the new one was good, but like it's not sequel worthy. You feel me? Like Jumanji, like, okay, like it's people getting lost in a board game. And, and drag, not drag, a movie they shouldn't have made a sequel to. And I hope they stop Jurassic World. Let's leave it where it's at. We've had enough. We get it. Like, or even, you know what? That movie with the girl where they make the, damn it, I always forget. It's a robot movie where they make a, the first AI robot and she kills everybody and dips. What is it called? See, I see her face. What's this movie called? Ugh, they just used the picture they didn't actually make. Damn it, man. Oh, this one. Wait. Yeah, X, I think it's called X Machina, 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 Machina? Girl, whatever it's called, ex machina, I want to say, that's how you say it. If not, drag me. Okay, so, oh, question 15. If you joined the circus, what would your circus act be? First of all, sis, I ain't have to join the circus because my circus act is my everyday life. I am a clown. Next question. Have you ever worn clothing with the label slash tags still attached? Yes. And it's, I did it without realizing it. Like I put on, it was a romper that I just bought. I forgot where I bought it from. And I went out, got all the way downtown, had the tag on my back. And my friend was like, uh, sis, the tag is still on the back. And I was like, get it off, take it off. Okay, let's see. 17, would you rather be the most popular kid in school or the smartest kid? The smartest kid keeps that popularity nonsense because smartest kid, get into good schools. I have a good life. I feel like that's, yeah. 18 do you have any superstitions i guess they mean like step on a crack and snap your mother's back i don't um ooh, but the black mm, I, would, I actually i really like black cats i would say like if i see a broken mirror i might be like oh you know but that's about it number 19 what's the worst pickup line you've ever heard slash dished out Oh, and I love saying this to people, but it's so corny. Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. Like, are you none? Or even the, this is not even, a, it's not a pickup line. It is, but it isn't. It's like when, why does it look like that? Why are my hands looking like that? Why are you embarrassing me? But it's not really a pickup line, but it's like when someone comes to you and they know they don't know you. You know we don't know each other. You've never met me. 
You know that, I know that. And you come to me and you say, hey, do I know you? Or, oh, you look familiar. I don't, like I'm not, I'm not even from here. What do you mean I look, you don't know me? Just say you wanna come and talk to me and let's leave it at that, but oh, you look so familiar. I mean, I've done that before, but. Um, if, oh, question 20. If you were a man for a day, what would be the first thing you do? Empty the bank account and wire it to real me. Um, but also, like, if I were a man, first thing I'm doing is probably, like, going outside and seeing what it's like to navigate the world as a man. Because I feel like men have it not, like, they have it easy in terms of when you walk outside, you're not getting harassed. What, tw question 21. What is the weirdest thing you find attractive in a person? Oh, next. I don't know what it is, but like people who have like, let me not say like guys who have like, you know the way football player necks look? Like they're kind of like thick. I don't know, I just think it's like, <laughs> or like what else? Um, like really nice arms. Like nice arms or just, hmm. And legs, I have, and this is not just like, when I see a girl or a guy, and I like, if you have really nice calves, I think like nice calves are like, wow. I'm so jealous of people who have like nice calf muscles and like they're not too defined, but they're defined enough and they're not too big, but they're, I mean, I don't think calves gonna be too big, but like, I really like nice calves, like nice arms, like a neck, like a nice neck. Not like your head looks like a bubble head on your neck. I'm sorry, if I keep looking away, it's because I keep forgetting to look here and I'm looking at myself. But um, next question, what cheesy song do you have memorized? Oh my God, if you guys go on Netflix. So last year, this kid I know put me on to this movie on Netflix that's called The Ballad, I cannot speak, The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. And one of the scenes, um, this is when Buster dies and he's going to heaven and the guy who kills him starts singing. <clears throat> Let me tell you, buddy, there's a faster gun coming over yonder when tomorrow comes. It's, it's a corny song, but my mom hates it, my friends hate it, and I'm always singing. it. Coming over yonder when tomorrow comes. Let me tell you, buddy, and it won't be long till you find yourself singing your last cowboy song. Yippee-ki-yay. Hey, let me stop this before they flag my video. Anyways, question 23. And by the way, Ask my friend Anesu, I have this song memorized from beginning to end. And yes, when the song plays, I sing both parts. Yes, I'm singing both parts. I sing both parts, yes, yes. Question 23, if you got stuck in an elevator and were forced to listen to only one song, what would it be? Oh, anything by Beyonce and I'm good, like, or Future. That's my G. I would say if it was, it was a future song, I could listen to Super Trapper. I could listen to that all the time. If it was Beyonce, like anything by Beyonce and we good to go. Number 24, what's something weird that you recommend everyone tries at least once? This is something I never used to do, but dipping your french fries in mayo, wow, top two and it's not number two. And then if the lighting changes, by the way guys, like I'm in front of a window, so it's not really anything I can do about it, but we're almost done. But with something weird I recommend everyone. Oh, if you, when you're eating a burger, I'm pretty sure that people do this, but open your burger, put the french fries in between. Wow, saves you time, you eat faster, and it tastes, it tastes so good. Um, also, hot pickles, the ones that you can get at the gas station. I have a clip of me eating a hot pickle. If I find it, I'll insert it. So, I decided to get a hot pickle today. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea, but like, I got one. And I got the Van Holtons. Hot and spicy. Pickle, hot pickle, hot pickle. Ooh, I got my hair in my mouth. Okay, my hair's in my mouth. Ugh. How do I, oh, there we go. Okay, my hair is in my mouth. I gotta kick it. A bite. Good job. Okay. 
Oh my god. Hot. But first of all, hot pickles at the gas station, they're like, I think, 99 cents. But you have to get the hot one, not the garlic. The hot pickle. Wow. Wow. Honestly, wow. And the last question, what do you think is the most unpleasant sounding word? This is a word that other people, I know it grates a lot of other people and it grates me too, but moist, moist. It just, even moisture, just, I just, and there's another one, but it's a vulgar word, so I'm not gonna say it because my mom is watching this. Hey mom. But yeah, so that was my get to know me tag. Try to do it with a little twist. Let me know if you have any other questions, things you wanna know about me, leave it in the comments. Message me, you ain't gotta comment, but I mean, it would be nice if you love some, it would be nice if you, you know, like the video, left a comment, subscribed, just, just, just saying. But anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. See you next week on the next vlog, and I hope you enjoy this. Bye guys.